Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my mock draft of the E3E. Um, if you like this, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit every button. Make sure to pop over to Big E3E's um, Twitch channel and check him out. He streams um, a lot. And uh, yeah, uh, thank you for checking out this video, and uh, we'll see you again in the video. There it is. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, no ice cream. to the NFL mock draft, me and Big E. Big E. Big E. That works. Me and Big Three E are just <laughs> Big, Big Three E are gonna uh, do a mock draft. So I did a mock draft and he did a mock draft. We're both gonna do this, and then when the NFL draft comes along, hopefully we'll be streaming it. Um, we'll be streaming live while we watch it, and hopefully we'll see how many of our predictions were correct. And uh, whoever, yeah. If I don't have to look at it. Whoever gets it wrong, I have to buy the other one for me every box. Alright. Wait, nah. what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, there's no punishment. I just came up with that one. Alright. Ready? Alright. Uh, Alright, how's this gonna work? Uh, you wanna say yours and then I'll say mine and then we'll compare yeah, them or what? Just give me a sec here. Okay, gotta pull up my document. All right, yeah, I can uh, I can go first. Number one, Jaguars, Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I agree. I had the same yeah, pick. Yeah, that, that one's the um, most I feel obvious like it's pick. Pretty ever. much a no-brainer. Uh, number two is a bit harder. Jacksonville yeah. takes Zach Wilson. You mean the Jets? Yes, yes the Jets take Zach Wilson. I agreed with you there. Uh, in my First two picks them the same. And then I think San Fran is going to take Justin Fields or Patrick Sertan. The second? Sertan. Sertan. All right, I played a little bit of a wild card with this one. And um, I had them take Kyle Pitts out of right. Florida, the tight end. The team up with George Kittle to make that offense absolutely Overpowered in any Madden or real life game. I had the Falcons taking Kyle Pitts. I had the Falcons take Micah Parsons at linebacker because they're in a spot where if they trade down, they might risk losing the player that they want. And number four. All the Falcons do is line up the defense and try to pick up the end. All right, never mind. <laughs> and um, I think that they're in a spot where they kind of have to reach in terms of in terms of talent, what they need. Mhm. Mm in terms of what they need, because if they trade down, there's not going to be a whole lot of interest because the well, realistically, in real life, probably the top three quarterbacks will be gone. But. If that is true, there could be a whole lot of interest, and I could see the Falcons trading down from this spot with, let's say, a, whoa, fuck, hold on. Okay. With like a um, New England or a Washington. Yeah, I'm going to turn you down because you're peeking at red right now on our, on our bars. So turn you down a bit. All right. Uh, where are we now? All We're right. Cincy? Yep, Cincinnati. I got Cincy taking, taking uh, it's a split for me between um, Jamar Chase or Panay Sewell. I think Panay Sewell is a more likely option, though. I think Jamar Chase is the more likely option, but I think Panay Sewell is the more fitting player for what they need right now. Because they need to protect Joe Burrow. Yeah. As of what we've seen from last year, which was yeah, obvious. Yeah. Um. Which makes that pick even uh, next easier up, for me. We have the Dolphins. I think it's going to be Jamar Chase. I agreed with Jamar you there Chase as well. Waddle, depending on if Chase is gone because of the Bengals. Right. Um, and then it'll be interesting if Jamar Chase is gone with the Dolphins. Like I, said, I think it'll be Waddle. Right. Um, and then I ha I have the Lions no. taking. Take. Right, the Lions take Waddle. Um, yeah. Yeah, I had the Lions take 
Jalen Waddle as well at number seven because they got rid of Marvin Jones. Jacksonville picked him up. Low key, my favorite team. Not very low key, by the way. Um, Kenny Galladay also left for New York, and now they need to put some weapons around Jared Goff, even though he won't hit them anyway. But at least the efforts there. Um, and then the next one are the uh, Carolina Panthers. My bet was they're going to trade down to the New England Patriots, and New England went up taking Trey Lance with that pick. I can see it. I can see it. But since my draft has no trade downs or ups in it, because I didn't think that far, I, I had them take Patrick Sertan just to kind of reinforce that secondary a little bit and help out, help themselves yeah, out. Uh, the next one is the Denver Broncos. Uh, Michael Parsons is my pick. For me, I had Justin Fields. What? Go to the Broncos. What? I have Justin Fields going to the Broncos. Wow, he drops that far? That's only I number know, nine. That drops a little bit. Um, Dallas Cowboys, I got Rayshon Slater. I have J.C. Horn out of South Carolina heading yeah. over there at corner because they're losing a they're losing a shit ton of secondary pieces and some of them are old and suck anyway that they kept so I just feel like that's kind of just a point of need. Yeah, um, next up we have the New York Giants. I took Devontae. Smith. Me as well. They need a true separator out there on the edge. Kenny Galladay. And their tight end both can go catch the jump ball, but Devonte Smith is so well, fast that Kyle Rudolph, you have some, uh, you, you, you need some varsity on that. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. So I think Devonte Smith is just a smart pick here. If Waddle and Chase are gone for them, definitely. And they, they most likely will be. Uh, next one is the Eagles. Eagles. Where am I? I took Christian Dershaw. Christian Dershaw. Did I? Dershaw. Did I put a? I didn't put a, a position for that one. I put a position for every single one except for that one. Pretty sure he's a tackle. I think you're fine. Or, or inside the offensive yeah. line or something like that. I had them take Mac Jones. Yeah, I had the Eagles take Mac Jones. Mainly because I don't, I don't think Jalen Hurst is a. I don't think he's very good. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, I feel like he's just a bit of a bit way too reliant on his running ability. But I mean, he kind of had to last year because he had no time in the in the line. But in my thing, I had the top guys going out, and I don't know why I didn't give them Rashawn Slater. I just figured they're stupid. Cause it's yeah. Philly, lol, Philly fans. But um, Philly fans are gonna cancel you on that. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I think it'd just be a good up, little head to head to see yeah, what happens. Next up, Los Angeles Chargers. I took. I'm gonna butcher this name. Jeremiah Usu Koromoa. Koromoa. Uh, Owusu Koromoa for one. Uh yeah, I took him because I number two. I. I know they need line help. The problem is, I, there was no line left. There was no big lineman left right. for me to take for them. So I was like, okay, best player available. You're welcome, by the way. <laughs> uh, I had them take Rashawn Slater because he drops a little bit, in my opinion. And not because he's just a bad player or anything. It's just because he's just a little raw. In my opinion, so. Uh, next up is the Minnesota Vikings. All right. Me to butcher this name, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, Vikings are my other team. Um, allow me to butcher this team, this name, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'm ready. Quitty Pay. Hey, you got it right. Wow. Quitty Pay. Ed Drescher out of Michigan. Yeah, Ed Drescher out of Michigan. I know him. Favorite college team right here. Yeah. Ed Drescher and the Alton and the Lions. All the Alliance offensive 
to go to this point, so edge rusher is another chance. Um, I've seen in some mock mock drafts Devontae Smith falling to them. Yeah, I don't understand why they take him, but you know what? Yeah. All right. Um, I have Elijah Vera Tucker out of USC, the tackle. Again, not sure why. I have just kind of a patch it in there kind of pick for me. Uh, I I'm not a big Vikings followers, just because I'm not a I hate the Vikings with a royal passion. So I hate paying attention to them. Um. All right, Carolina number fifteen. Panthers. So for you. So, yeah, for me, this is um New England's pick, but I had them trade up for uh, Trey Lance. No, for yeah, Trey Lance. For Trey Lance, and uh, I, so I had to switch out Carolina and New England's with New England's pick, but for me it's Carolina. I, I, I gave them Caleb Farley. Right. Um, I had at 15 Trey Lance anyway. Oh, going, so. to, going to. For, for New England. Yeah, New yeah. England, by the way. I, I, I agree. I think New England's going to get Trey Lance. I, with Carolina I now having Sam Donald, they're not going to take Trey. And, Maybe. I could maybe. Oh, they do. They're I stupid. Anyway, um. I mean, it's kind of. <laughs> Next I'm kidding. Next up, the Arizona Cardinals. I took Trevon Jenkins, offensive tackle. I took uh, Christian Barmore, defensive tackle out of Bama. Uh, I've, I've seen very few things on him. I've heard good things, though, so I just, I just felt like I just felt that's like a good Kyle spot right for him. Around a lot too much last year, and we might need some offensive line help. <laughs> yep. uh, the Los Angeles Raiders, uh, you got to have... It's not Los Angeles. It is the not Las Los Vegas Angeles. Raiders. There we go. He finally got it right for the first time in his goddamn life. The Las Vegas Raiders. Um, this one's a little hard because they always reach. So... So I kind of had to reach with it. Hunter number three, by the way. I went with Trevon. I went with Trev Morig. Yeah. Trevon Morig. Honestly, though, that's not that terrible of a reach. Yeah. So I mean, I tried to reach and then realized, ah, it sucks. (laughs) Right. All right, well, I had them take Christian Derisaw, the tackle out of Virginia yeah. Tech, who's probably a second rounder. I, I, exactly, but again, exactly. Reach, reach history. Exactly. With Oakland, we kind of had to go with reaches. Yeah, Las Vegas, but yeah. I don't care. I'm not correcting you, I'm just correcting you. <laughs> <laughs> Miami Dolphins, um, I took an edge. I, I took an Miami Dolphins at number 18 here. I took an edge rusher. A Z or 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 Ojuri or or, 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 or <laughs> As you can see, folks, he is amazing I, with names. I, Aziz Ojuri. I'm as good as what's the NFL CEO? Yeah, I'm Roger as good Bell. as Roger Goodell. Oh, I see. All right. Well, um, I have an, also an address here, just from just a different one. This is the Michigan boy, ah. Quiddy Pay. Fallen a little bit to right in the lap of Miami. Yeah. Um, for I think this oh, one yeah. we agreed on. For Washington, I had Rashad Bateman. Thanks for that. Yeah, we yeah, agreed yeah, on yeah, that we, one. We were kind of going through that one together. We were like, yeah, Rashad Bateman one. Like re- realistically, I think they trade up with like if oh, like, yeah. Real- Kyle Pitts has gone at four. I think they trade up with the Dolphins to number six and take Jamar Chase. I don't even think that. I think if Kyle Pitts is gone the way it is, I think the the Atlanta Falcons could trade down with them, and then they could get a quarterback of their choice between Mac, Justin, and Trey. Yeah. Um, but again, I didn't do yeah. trades. Um, next up, we have the Indianapolis Colts. Bro, you skipped the Bears, right, you the, dude. Right, man, they, they suck, though. Why would I? Why would I even go to the Bears? Chicago Bears. I picked quarterback Mac Jones. Oh, uh, whoops! I picked Mac Jones. 
Oh, yeah. I, I think you're nuts. He's not going to fall that far. Funny, but, um, I have Kadarius Tony. Is, he might. Nah. I have Kadarius Tony, the wide receiver out of Florida. Maybe a tiny bit of a reach, but with Allen Robinson playing out on free on the what is it called? franchise tag and Darnell Mooney being young yet. Well, he got drafted last year, so of course he's young. But, um, excuse me. But, um, I don't know. I just think it's a good fit for speed yeah, and explosiveness yeah. for them. Uh, now we're the end of this Colts. I took D line Christian Barrymore. Barrymore? Yeah. Uh, I had at 21, I had an edge rusher, Aziz Ojolari out of Georgia. Uh, uh, just a good pass rush yeah, right there. Just some the help there. I, I like how we try and give a reason for this, and then our reviews just suck because we don't actually 100% know well, what mean, we're talking we can, about. If you want, we can go into stats. Yeah, no, I'm not okay. doing that. Okay, then. See, this is why, this is why you gotta plan this earlier. We should have been doing this two weeks earlier. Anyway. <laughs> okay, can I do some explaining before we get into these yeah. picks? Yeah, all right. So with some of this stuff, we were using a uh, I used an we, outdated. I, I we were using the same website, and we. Uh, I used no, website. we weren't. I used uh, a different one. On yeah, I used a different one. I did a different one than him, and uh, I ended up paying for it because two people in the draft that I think would be gone by now are still here, and I completely forgot about them until I saw them when I was scrolling through the list. So, um, my apologies, some of these in the next few ones would not actually happen. So, you, you try, you'll know them when I hear yeah. when I say them. But. Uh, what's up next, Tennessee? I have yeah. Samuel Cosme going uh, on the tackle. I feel like they're, right. like they're well, going to try to give here... uh, Derek, uh, King, King Henry as much help as they can get. Fair point. But, here's one of them. That I was mentioning, Caleb Farley out of Virginia Tech, <laughs> who I think is gonna, be, who I think is gonna be a top fifteen. I completely forgot about because the site I used was out of date. So, <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Um, oh, New but, uh, Jets. Whoa, 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 whoa! I think Caleb Farley is gonna go. Oh, he's not gonna go there. But if he were to go there, I think he'd be the one that gets picked there because. He's a decent open field tackler. He's not much of for, known for that, but just to solidify that you defense, choose, because Caleb, yeah. they got the offense. You didn't see him. Where would you put Caleb Farley in your uh, lineup, in your uh, mock draft? Who would you swap out for Caleb Farley? Um, probably Justin Fields, except Justin would go somewhere else. Okay. Um, and then we have. The New York Jets. Jets. I took cornerback Greg Newman the second. Wait, did I only take him? Okay. No, you didn't. You only took right, that yeah. one. Uh, I took Traven Morig, yeah, yeah. just so that way uh, we didn't have a Las Vegas special repeat from last year. <laughs> yeah. As we all saw in the weekly lowlights of the New York Jets last year. Yeah, that was. That was fun. That was a fun. That game. was interesting. That was fun. That was yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Pittsburgh, I took running back Trevor Etienne. Now, on my list, he actually wasn't the first running back there, but I felt like he's the first running back. The Alabama running back is actually the first one on my list. However, I didn't really think you'd be taking over Trevor. Travis. 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 Yeah, I get what you're saying, but I had them go Greg New 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 uh, Newsman. Wait, how the fuck? Newsom? Greg, Greg Newsom the second. I had to take a second to get my brain to read there. Cornerback out of Northwestern, just because, why not? I, honestly, I don't know. I, I couldn't explain that one. I haven't done a deep dive on him. Yeah, and then uh, we are on to the Pittsburgh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Jack. He made me pick Xavier Collins. Whoop, whoop. Here. Collins here. Uh, I didn't. I didn't make you for one. Yeah, 100% his choice. Uh, here's another one of the guys that I think will go much sooner that I completely forgot was on here. Jeremiah Usu koromoa linebacker out of Notre Dame. Uh, <laughs> who is very versatile. He's 
very tall, very quick. He could honestly play safety if he wanted to. Just a great Swiss Army knife. I, I, I was saying no, he's not that many safeties in this draft. Yeah. Jeremiah Wusakoromoa could probably fill in as one if he needed him yeah. to. Um, and then we have the great picks, the Cleveland Browns. The, yeah, the the team that is absolutely undefeated at, at best yeah. picks of all time. Uh, uh, absolutely un, undefeated in terms of great picks. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who'd you take? Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Oh, great. I'm going first. Uh, I took Gregory Gregory There you go. I had him take Rondale Moore, a wide receiver out of Purdue. Uh, My main main reasoning is... uh, I wouldn't say it's a big reach. Maybe a little, but not terribly. But, um... Only reason I pick him here is because OBJ has been hurt the last yeah, couple of years, and Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry. Jarvis Landry he I mean, he's, he, it up he, he, he's not a receiver one as much as I like him. He's not a receiver one, and after that, you don't really have much after those two that I can recall I mean, off the top yeah, of my head. Exactly. Yeah. All right. I, I'll give that. Um, uh, Baltimore Ravens, I took Jeremiah Davis, linebacker. Who? I know, I started reaching here because I was like, what did the, Ra- what did the Ravens need? I think a linebacker. They need a wide receiver, and that's why I had them take Elijah Moore, who's, in my opinion, a heavy reach here, but yeah. kind of just swinging for the fences. I, I, yeah, I'm not smart with the Ravens because I have no idea what they need. I need a receiver. But, um... Only reason I have Elijah Moore going here is because all the top guys, even Kadarius Tony, was gone at this point. So I just kind of went with the reach rather than best player available, just because I could not tell you why. Uh, next up would be your New Orleans Saints, which are gonna have some fun this year. Um, uh, <laughs> why uh, I take a wide receiver, Kendis County, Kadarius Tony. Uh, I had them take Zayvon Collins, the linebacker out of Tulsa, uh, who I think will end up going to the Jaguars because I think they're going to try and solidify the defense, hopefully a lot. That's my opinion. Uh, I think we could wait on receiver till later in the draft because there's a lot of speed in the yes. draft this year. So yes. That's why I think Jackson will look good defense there. A.K.A. never a wide receiver. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh god, I have Edge Rusher City going Kyle on. Right Trask. Now. Holy fuck. What? Okay, that one's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait That's a minute. A joke. <laughs> I saw this thing online about how the Tigers should pick another quarterback to make A Rod jealous and win another MVP. <laughs> so. <laughs> Obviously. So Trask, Obviously. Um, no, I actually think they're going to. I actually think they're going to take inside lineman Landon Nickerson. Landon Nickerson. Okay. I had them take Gregory Rousseau here. Maybe a little bit of a reach, but very raw player, in my opinion. Has a little bit to work on. He gained 30 pounds, though, for his pro day. Before his pro day. So, I mean, that's kind of impressive. Apparently, he did really well there. So, I had him go up the draft board yeah, a little bit. He actually went up the draft board on mine. He was at 25. Really? Um, I guess I didn't see that. Then again, I was using an updated yeah. thing anyway. But. Um, the Buffalo Bills. All right, I I have one. Right. You want me to go yeah, first I on this one? All right. So at running back, they're a bit thin in real life. You got Matt Breida, T.J. Yeldon. Neither of them are top guys by any means, and they're gonna. And in my opinion, they're gonna bring in a guy who can be a top guy very easily, and Najee Harris, the running back out of Bama. That, that's who, who um, is going over um, ETN, I, just, I didn't think so. I really don't think he'll go over ETN, in my opinion. Honestly, I thought the Ohio State one running back know, this year was very low on the draft board. He's not on the draft board for some reason. 
But um, he's going to be good once he gets to the pros, though. But Najee Harris, he can catch well out of the backfield. He's a good power guy. He's got a good enough speed, maybe. I don't, I don't remember his 40 time, but... Yeah. Uh, um, I, I think he can just do it all, and I think he I could be great. I corner Alex Leatherwood. Leather, Leather, Leather. Yeah, no, that's not happening. I promise you. No, sorry. Corner Eric Jones. I'll just... Yeah, corner... Again, that's probably not going to happen. <laughs> yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this uh, mock draft was recorded, I believe, on Friday, or is it on Saturday? What's up? Friday or Saturday, we, record, we recorded this. I don't uh, know. So we recorded this before the Ravens traded up to the 31st pick. So we are here to give our 31st picks. Elliot, you go for it. Uh, I think that they're going to pick the same guy as I had for the Chiefs when they were there. And I thought the Chiefs were going to take him there. But now I think the Ravens will because he's still a good player and he's good value there. I'll take Joseph Osai out of Texas. And I forget my Andrew name. I don't know how to say it, actually. Jason Okariki. Jason Okariki, ladies and gentlemen, is my pick for that position. Um, so, yeah, uh, we're now returning to the regular. The reason, you're now, oh, sorry. Uh, the reason I went uh, Joseph Osai is because they lost Yannick Ngakwe and they don't have a, a dominant head rusher anymore, and I think Joseph has the ability to do that for them. Uh, okay, thanks. We're now returning to the regular schedule program. Number 32, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Your Super Bowl champions and the wannabe MVP, Tom Brady. The man that never dies. For some reason. <laughs> the man that will never die. We've been trying. Belichick tried, trust me. Belichick tried to kill him. <laughs> Why do you think he sent him to Tampa? <laughs> 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 I mean, if you want to do that, you should have Then they just went all in and he was like, fuck. Bill. Bill to the Bengals. Like, uh, actually, yeah, that's, that would have been a better idea. <laughs> oh, anyway. Uh, um, I don't know. I have a weird one as well. I have Jalen Phillips, Edge, out of my. I have them trading down the Los Angeles Rams, Los Angeles Chargers, and the Los Angeles Chargers take Jalen Mayfield. All right, well, that's interesting. End of yeah. video. Bye. So, uh, that, oh. so that is our uh, draft board, draft predictions, draft, mock drafts, or whatever you call it. Um, and you know, we call it mock drafts on YouTube because of views. But. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Xander, this is our first monetized video that we've recorded, I think. <laughs> 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 anyway, so uh, guys, uh, we we will uh, see you probably on draft day, depending on if we live stream that day. Uh, otherwise, we'll just make a video uh, showing the first day of the draft. And uh, yeah, we will yep. uh, we'll see you guys later. Peace out, boys. Peace.